So when you're dealing with large matrices, you don't want to do it by hand, you don't want to do it with your calculator, Excel is definitely where it's at. So some matrix multiplication addition. Uh, what I have here is a dominance matrix, uh, and I want to know, want to rank these teams, let's say. All right, so I can do a sum equals the sum of this row, and that means that A has had three wins. I can drag that down and that does the sum of each of these other rows. So we can see that E is a clear winner, but there's a bunch of teams that are tied for second place. So doing dominance matrices means we need to square this matrix. So I'm just going to take these A, B, C, D, E, F, G and put them here like that, maybe here. And I'm going to take these ones and put them over here like this. You don't have to do this. Okay, after that, you highlight where your answer is going to go, the whole thing. And then you type equals M, M, U, L, T. That's matrix multiplication. And then you choose the two matrices that you want to multiply together. Now, this is a bit strange because I want to multiply this matrix, comma, by itself. So I just highlight it twice. Okay, and this is an array calculation. So you do something really strange here. You press Control, Shift, and Enter for the answer. Don't just click Enter. Control, Shift, and Enter. All right, and there we have our uh, second order dominance matrix there. And obviously, I can do the same thing that I did before, add up these things here. Okay. All right, and it looks something like that. Now, what about um, adding these matrices? Because usually with the dominance matrix, you add your matrices and then you move from there. So to add the matrices, um, you're really just adding it cell by cell by cell. That's, that's pretty much all you have to do. So to do that, I'm just going to click in this first cell here, and I'm going to say that's equal to this cell plus this cell. And then I can drag across... And that's going to be that cell plus that cell, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I can drag down. And now I've added all of those cells together. And you can do like a spot check if you want. This is a one and this is a one, so that should be a two. All right, so I've taken a matrix. I've squared that matrix. I've added them together. Uh, so I have uh, like a dominance thing that's um, matrix one plus matrix squared. Okay, let's see what happens when I do a sum of each of these. So sum of this one, like that. Okay. And you can see it's doing better. Um, e is the clear winner, but A and C still haven't been split. So we would have to do another one. We would have to do uh, cubed. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. This is the squared matrix. So we're going to take this matrix and multiply it by the original matrix. That'll be A squared plus A uh, times A, which would be A cubed. Okay, so um, just put in A to E again, A to G again. All right, and we can see that we're going to do our, our little array again. Equals M multiplication. And then we're going to do our squared matrix. Times uh, the original, oops, times the original matrix. Uh, control shift enter because it's an array formula. And we have this thing here. And now it's starting to get a bit uh, confusing. So let's just make sure we know what we've got here. This is our uh, first order. This is our second order. This was where we added them together, A plus A squared. And then this is our uh, third order, or A cubed. OK. Now, if I were to add all three of those, which I can do, equals sum of this and second order and first order, I'd get this, and I can obviously drag that over, oops, drag that over there like that, and drag it down. Okay, and that gives me my first matrix, my second matrix, my third matrix. So pretty straightforward. We're just going to do one more thing after this one that I think is really, really important. Okay, so now I'll, uh, if I've added them up, I can, oops, if I've added them up, I can add across that row. And 
we've split them. Oh, we haven't. We've got C and F are now in a tie, and C and F weren't in a tie before. The last thing I want to do um, before we finish this video up is understand that the thing that I just did was A matrix A plus matrix A squared plus matrix A cubed, and that's my result here, right? But what if I wanted to do something different? What if I wanted to do A plus half of matrix A squared plus one quarter of matrix A cubed? That way, secondhand wins aren't worth as much as direct wins, and thirdhand wins aren't worth as much as secondhand wins. Okay, I'm just going to put those numbers in there. So A is going to be 1, uh, A squared is going to be 0 0.5, and A cubed is going to be 0 0.25, just so I can refer to those cells in a second. Okay, so I'm going to create one more matrix here. And this is going to be like just so good. All right, now in this cell equals um, this times uh, the first uh, thing there. Now just make sure you put dollar signs in uh, Q35, which is this number here. Um, because you want to be able to drag it around and have that number stay the same. All right, and then we're going to add this with the dollar signs again, uh, times, so 0 0.5 times wherever our second order was, there's our second order, plus this 0 0.25 dollar signs um, times wherever our third order matrix is, here. All right, now it's going to spit out a decimal. That's not surprising. And now we can just drag across, drag down, and we get that, a new weighted matrix, which is A plus half A squared plus one quarter A cubed. And I can sum that. And it looks like it's nearly splitting everyone. A and C aren't being split by this third order matrix. Um, what would happen if the third hand wins weren't worth as much? Not a whole lot. Uh, what would happen if second hand win, first hand wins were worth more? Not a whole lot. So we're still having trouble splitting A and C. But the important thing is that we have a really flexible tool here with our Excel where we can now create a model. We could even go to fourth order if we wanted to. Um, and we can change these numbers as we see fit to change whatever's happening down here. Okay, that is a whole bunch of stuff on matrix multiplication and addition, particularly talking about dominance matrices.